Yeah, a little a little coat made of mouse stem cells. Yeah, like is there a point where you're like maybe someone else could use those stem cells? Like there might be a mouse in need. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I, I really care for mouse, but no mouse was really hurt in that particular case because okay. I know I know that I know the scientists that did it. They're very very careful about mice, and uh, no, but I don't. Where do I draw the line? Well, ethics is a part of design as it should be a part of everything in life. So I am very careful about what I show. That particular mouse stem cell coat was actually meant to elicit a reaction and a big question in everybody's mind uh, because it was a, a coat, a little coat made of stem cells that but was growing. But then the sleeve came off. Yeah, that what happened is that it was an exhibition. It was an exhibition at MoMA in 2008 called Design and the Elastic Mind. And, uh, the, the, this little coat was in an incubator and it was growing and then two weeks after it started, it started growing a little weird, you know, like a sleeve was off. And the scientists were back in Australia, so I asked them, what do I do? And they said, well, Paula, very simple, you just turn it off. I said, what do you mean turn it off? I said, well, you, it's an incubator, you just like switch it off, so I said, do I kill the coat? And they said, yeah, well, if you want to put it that way, it was never alive. No, it was alive. So I was starting, you know, thinking that I'm so pro-choice and pro-everything, I started not sleeping at night because I had to kill the little unborn coat. <laughs> you know, and you just, and that's what, and that's what art or design does, you know? It's like, it's terrible. I felt like I was the governor I of Texas. I was just worried it was gonna like, <laughs> <laughs> I was worried it was gonna end up on eBay, but this is much more serious. No, no, it ended, on, yeah. it ended, it ended in the press because that's what I do. When yeah. I have trouble, I ask the press. <laughs> So so we were getting phone calls at MoMA, you know, evangelicals say, don't kill the coat. And then well, how do you determine, because you have so many brands, like how do you determine which ones get in and which ones don't? Like I remember you had Kikuman uh, soy sauce. Oh, but see, we never think of brands. Like the Kikuman soy sauce is an amazing object. It was designed by Kenji Ekwan. And, oh, you have it there? Great. So he designed it in 1963. And not only is it working perfectly, does it ever clog? Have you ever found one of these bottles that ever clogs? I'm sorry. No, it doesn't. Hold on a second. So yeah. that soy sauce that's in the exhibit, that is from that's been sitting there since 1963? No. no. See, in design, when an object is the same and it's done the same way, yeah. it's always an original. So we bought it. I mean, when Kenji Ekwan died uh, just a few months ago, we wanted to immediately put the Kikoman soy sauce out, but the real Japanese writing bottle was in Queens, so we went to the supermarket and bought a Kikoman soy sauce. And we I knew a there, fresh one. We put it there as a placeholder until the shuttle could come from Queens with the, with the actual you know, collection piece, okay. but nobody noticed. <laughs> And then how do you deal when like it turns out that Kikoman, although they've now reformed, like they were they were not, not doing great practices. Were they mean? They weren't great. Not they were not great really? to mice, actually. To mice? I yeah. didn't know. Sorry, I didn't do my yeah, due no, no, diligence. Yeah, no, but they're better now. They're better now. Okay. Don't thank worry you. about it. Now they're okay. they're their mice get their own coats and they're made out of people, Whoa. actually. I didn't know about this. <laughs> they're made out of human stem cells, so it's it all came Didn't full do my circle. due diligence, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>